Hello, another tutorial from me. Um, change it up. How can I say hello in a different way? Um, doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the uh, the Joomla admin menu. So here's what we standardly see in Joomla. And uh, let's be honest with you, um, there's quite a lot of stuff going on. Maybe your clients don't understand it. Maybe there's too many options. Maybe you don't want to show them all the options. Maybe you prefer them not to have full access. Perhaps you don't want them doing anything in the global configuration because they're probably going to break something. Um, or maybe you have different types of users. So maybe you have somebody who just does content writing, who just does marketing, who just does uploading products to a shop. I don't know what they're doing. But uh, maybe even graphic designers uploading images. I don't know. But um, let me show you how to make their lives a lot easier by taking away all the options that they don't need and make your life a lot easier because you don't have to explain things to them as often because they can't get confused and um, and make Joomla look a bit more bespoke. So I'm going to go to menus and I'm going to add a new menu. Now here you uh, may not have realised this is here because it wasn't always here. It's a newish feature, I suppose. Um, Oh, I didn't know about these presets. I'll give them a go for sure. Uh, so this is going to be admin menu, and I will call this uh, content creator. So uh, I'll just call that content creator, and then I will save and close. And then I'll go to admin here. Content creator. It's got 94 published. My god. Um, Oh, it's all translatable, that's handy. Um, so, yeah, that was what my preset's done, and uh, I'm not sure that we need all of these in anyway. So, what I'm going to do is delete them all. Uh, I really hadn't clicked that option before, so I was just messing around. Um, that's how you find new things out. So, here we go, we've got a blank one now. So, I'm going to create a new item, and what I want to link to, to be honest with you, uh, I can link to anything by going to system links and then doing a URL. So whether or not the options are in this uh, doesn't really matter. If I want to go to a um, uh, backup site, which I have renamed to keep a backup in another tutorial, and uh, if I want to do a backup profile uh, or backup now, I'll right click on it and I'll copy the link location and then I will do that and I'll do site backup. In fact, I'll do instant site backup, right? Save and close. Uh, that will now have an instant site backup, and that will instantly click that button. It will not go into a Kiba backup, and then you'll have to click it. It will just start backing up straight away. So that might be useful um, for your clients. It might even save you an extra click every now and then. So kind of cool. Um, but let's say we're, when we're creating some content, so uh, see if we can find something useful for a content writer. Uh, how about create an article? Um, create content and then save a new. And they probably need to list content. Uh, so view content and do you have to select the category? Can you select all of them if I leave that blank? Okay, we'll do that. Um, and let's just leave it like that for now. Let's go back into menus and um, let's edit this one. And let's just see permissions, right? So um, let's just make it so that it is author and author can um, see this one. So they are Let's just allow everything for author, right? And then let's just make sure that authors can log into the back end. So permissions, author, and authors can uh, admin login. So we'll allow them an admin login and we'll allow them to create things. Uh, and obviously you don't have to do it this way, but I'm just showing you how to make a, a different type of... Um, Different type of menu for a different type of user. So save and close, and then I better create um, an author user. So author, author, a random password. That I can remember uh, author at twelve com. There you go. Probably done. And then let's just make sure that they are an author. Uh, 
Uh, access denied. Okay. So admin tools is there. This might help you sometimes. Web application firewall, configure WAF, hardening options, and then disable backend. Joomla options and um, users. So that's what was doing that. Uh, let's create them again. They are an author and their account details. Author, author, and some random password. And same close, invalid Okay, author, throw.com. Okay, save and close. Cool, so we've got an author, so let's uh, let's just check that that works and we can log in. We're logged in and we've got help. And we haven't got that menu item because... Hmm, interesting. Let's go back in as the normal user and see what we've done wrong. Helps you to troubleshoot it, I suppose. Uh, admin menu, edit and permissions and author. Author can see everything there. That's interesting. Okay, uh, menu detail. Right, that's fine. Let's go into it and let's see what these are. Do these have some permissions on them? Uh, somewhere they do. No, they don't. Okay, it's not that. Fantastic. Brilliant demo. Okay, content articles. Has this got permission? Should have permission. I'm getting a bit confused at this point, to be fair. Uh, let's see if that does it. Oh, here we go. That's made it happen. Okay, so now we can see that the author only has that menu item. Uh, it's kind of uh, useful because they're not getting confused saying, where am I supposed to click? It's pretty obvious where they're supposed to click. Uh, you could even make uh, yourself a custom module like this. So if I, uh, if I log out and then I log back in and then I just show you how to do that quickly, which might be a useful thing. So we're going into admin. I've done a whole tutorial on this, so I'm just going to breeze through this very quickly. Um, and I'll do custom. And then I will do uh, cPanel is the, is the correct place to put it. And oh, we don't have author as access. OK, we could create author as access. Uh, OK, author menu. Here are. In fact, let's, let's get out of there. Let's go to... We're doing... Access levels we're doing. Uh, to author. Which is going to have author in it. Save and close. Let's just go and change the module I already created, which was the customer message. It's already set to the right place. Let's change it to author. Um, so customer message, if you haven't seen my other tutorial, go and watch it. Customer message would appear here, but it's disappeared because we're not the author. So we log out and then we log in as the author. And now you can see uh, we've got this customer message here, create an article. Um, and great, it takes us straight into the article. Really easy for them to find, can't miss it. If you wanted to, you could use images for the buttons. You could make things more interesting. You could get rid of all this other stuff I've created for other tutorials. I create a backup and it's forbidden because we don't have access. So as you can see, it's a great way to create um, slightly different administration panels for different users, whether it be authors, or publishers, or uh, maintainers, or um, graphic designers. They only really need to upload images. You don't want them doing anything else. Um, you can create all of these different things. I've done it before where I've had marketing director, and on the back end, what he sees is uh, Google Analytics and also some MailChimp statistics. Um, you could also use AC Mailing, great tool. That's Joomla compatible. Um, but he only needed to see those things, so we made a, a view just for him. 
Anyway, I hope that has showed you uh, some cool ideas that you could do to change the, the back end of Joomla, make it usable for the different types of administration users without giving them access to everything. Um, potentially, even if you're managing and maintaining a site, you don't want clients doing an update, for example. Well, you've taken the option away from them. So um, it's a good way of controlling things and making things secure and making sure that other people who shouldn't be clicking things aren't clicking things. I hope that's helped. Um, the menu really can go a lot bigger than this. There, there is support for certain third parties. Um, let me just show you that quickly. Um, I know you thought the you thought it had ended, but I've got more. Uh, so some third parties like Akiba Backup have supported this thing. So you've got some options there. Not all of them, but like I said, you can use the external URL for things that you don't have. Um, and if someone hasn't supported it, uh, like Membership Pro, we've got loads of stuff there. Anyway, it's really cool that they're supporting it. Um, but I hope you find this useful, making your own bespoke admin um, admin menus. Uh, just don't forget uh, that you've got to set up the user views correctly. Um, if you might need somebody to be in, be able to see two menus, it's probably unlikely. But uh, be careful; you're not showing two menus uh, to one person because that is a possible side effect that you could have here and obviously do be aware that if you take certain tools away from people they won't be able to perform certain functions uh, and make sure obviously you're giving them the permissions as you saw with my one I didn't give permissions for content to authors and then that caused a problem where the the menu item wouldn't work obviously they could still go through the front end and, and do that stuff hope this has been helpful um, do subscribe to the channel do tell me what you want to see do tell me what you want me to stop doing do tell me what to do better and um, any comments any questions fire away in the comments uh, go through the website and contact me um, don't forget to share everything tell people how much you love me um, in particular in the Joomla Facebook page they love hearing how much everybody loves me so please 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 just go on the Joomla Facebook page and just type I love Owen and don't say anything else and see how confused people get thanks for listening